In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Good morning to all of you today on this 28th Sunday of Ordinary Time. I am Father Clayton, and this is Deacon Bob at Queen of the Apostles Parish. Let us come together and, my dear brothers and sisters, acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, Lord have, have mercy. mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, Christ have, have mercy. mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, Lord have mercy. mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of good will. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, Heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ. With, with the Holy Spirit, Spirit in the glory of God, God the Father. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. May your grace, O Lord, we pray, at all times go before us and follow after, and make us always determined to carry out good works. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Book of Wisdom. I prayed, and prudence was given me. I pleaded, and the spirit of wisdom came to me. I preferred her to scepter and throne, and deemed riches nothing in comparison with her. Nor did I liken any priceless gem to her, because all gold in view of her is a little sand, and before her silver is to be accounted myrrh. Beyond health and comeliness I loved her, and I chose to have her rather than the light, because the splendor of her never yields to sleep. Yet all good things together came to me in her company, in countless riches at her hands. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God.
A reading from the letter to the Hebrews. Brothers and sisters, indeed the word of giving of God is living and effective, sharper than any two-edged sword, penetrating even between soul and spirit, joints and marrow, and able to discern reflections and thoughts of the heart. No creature is concealed from him, but everything is naked and exposed to the eyes of him to whom we must render an account. The word of the Lord. from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, Lord. As Jesus was setting out on a journey, a man ran up, knelt down before him and asked him, Good teacher, what must I do to inherit eternal life? Jesus answered him, Why do you call me good? No one is good but God alone. You know the commandments. You shall not kill. You shall not commit adultery. You shall not steal. You shall not bear false witness. You shall not defraud. Honor your father and your mother. He replied and said to him, Teacher, all of these I have observed from my youth. Jesus, looking at him, loved him and said to him, You are lacking in one thing. Go sell what you have and give it to the poor, and you will have treasure in heaven. Then come, follow me. At that statement his face fell, and he went away sad, for he had many possessions. Jesus looked around and said to his disciples, How hard it is for those who have wealth to enter the kingdom of God. The disciples were amazed at his words. So Jesus again said to them in reply, Children, how hard it is to enter the kingdom of God. It is easier for a camel to pass through the eye of a needle than for one who is rich to enter the kingdom of God. They were exceedingly astonished and said among themselves, Then who can be saved? Jesus looked at them and said, For human beings it is impossible, but not for God. All things are possible for God. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Friends, the church gives us this week uh, one of the most extraordinary spiritual stories in the Gospels, the narrative of the rich young man. To me, the story rings up there with the prodigal son and the Sermon on the Mount. It's one of the truly great summaries of the spiritual life. This great story has to do with a young man who we don't actually know how young he is. It doesn't say. But it does point to someone with vitality, Someone with enthusiasm, typical of a young man. And like most men, he's looking for a mentor, a spiritual teacher, someone who can guide him in the ways of the Spirit. And he says, falling on his knees to Jesus, Good teacher, what must I do to inherit eternal life? Well, that is a good question. The young man not only has energy and enthusiasm, he's got the right spiritual instinct. He's not asking a a business leader about business or a married person about marriage, although those are very good. Instead, he's asking the most serious of questions. How do I enter that life of eternity? You know, I worry, especially among our youth today, they don't even consider the question. I asked my sister last week in light of uh, her friend's death in a car accident, I asked her about heaven because she asked about eternity. And she became sad. She knew the life I lived. She was raised outside of the church. 
She was, she's not baptized, and she understood the cost that I was giving as a Christian, let alone a priest. And you know what she said? Sadly, with tears, she said, Stop. I don't want to hear anymore. And she walked away, sad. Even after I asked why and talked to her about the truths, the virtues, the good, heaven, Christ, all of that which would bring spiritual happiness, she said, I know, I just want to be left alone. I want this, I want that. I want to be happy. Just like the rich young man, she went away sad. The problem is, as we fail to step towards God and away towards worldly riches, we know the difference like the rich young man and my sister. Maybe out of fear, maybe out of weakness, regardless, the spiritual life, eternal life, is not without cost. It entails a total self, giving of our love for the kingdom to seek the things of God. Let us now pray for the courage to always reach out to him and do so in an effort to let go of our worldly pleasures. I believe in one God, Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made, consubstantial with the Father, through him all things were made. For our sin and for our salvation, he came down from heaven. And by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified and consubstantial, he suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day, in accordance with the Scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord and the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Christ, the new Adam, has destroyed sin and recreated us in his image. United to him, let us offer our prayers to God the Father. For Francis, our Pope, and William, our Bishop, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear yeah. our prayer. For the elected leaders of our country, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. For those whose lives are endangered because of war, poverty, abortion, euthanasia, or other persecution, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. For all those who are sick or suffering, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. And for the intentions submitted by our viewers at home, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. God of love, all life comes from you and finds fulfillment by returning to you. Grant that the prayers we make in Christ's name hasten the coming of your kingdom and assist us in glorifying your name through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen.
pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Accept, O Lord, the prayers of your faithful with the sacrificial offerings that through these acts of devotedness we may pass over to the glory of heaven through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Let, them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you glory. Thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For you laid the foundations of the world and have arranged the changing of times and seasons before man in your own image to rule in your name over all you have made and forever praise you in your mighty works through Christ our Lord. And so with all the angels, we praise you as in joyful celebration we acclaim. of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope and William our Bishop and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever.
At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we wait the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. The kingdom and the power and the glory of yours, now forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter into my life, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. The body of Christ, keep me safe. We entreat your majesty most humbly, O Lord, that as you feed us with the nourishment which comes from the most holy body and blood of your Son, so you may make us shares of his divine nature, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. Bow down for the blessing. May the Lord bless you and keep you. 
Amen. 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 May he let his face shine upon you and show you his mercy. Amen. Amen. May he turn his countenance towards you and give you his peace. Amen. Amen. And may the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit come down on you and remain with you forever. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Amen. Thanks be to God. Hi everybody, Bishop Callahan here with a word of thanks to you for joining us this morning and helping us make these broadcasts possible. Be assured of our prayers for you and your families during these celebrations. We hear from so many of you. Keep sending your intentions in so they are remembered by us, your brothers and sisters, at Mass. If you are able to make a contribution to help offset the expenses of these TV Mass broadcasts, please send your donation to the address listed on the screen. We would like to continue bringing these Masses to you as there is nothing this side of heaven that can unite us more closely with one another than the Eucharist. Thank you. God be with you and may God reward you. <laughs>